It's well known that lying under oath is a bad idea because it renders a witness liable for perjury. But what if a witness makes a statement that's technically true but purposefully misleading? In Bronston v. United States, we explore the scope of perjury liability. When Samuel Bronston Productions Incorporated, a motion picture production company filed for bankruptcy, the company's sole owner, Samuel Bronston, was called upon to testify at a bankruptcy hearing to determine the company's assets. During questioning, a creditor's lawyer asked Bronston if he had any Swiss bank accounts, to which Bronston answered no. The lawyer then asked, quote, have you ever, unquote. Bronston replied, quote, the company had an account there for about six months in Zurich, unquote. Bronston's response was technically a true statement about the company's accounts, but it failed to also make reference to a personal account that Bronston had previously maintained at a Swiss bank for almost five years. Based on Bronston's statement, the government charged Bronston with perjury under the federal perjury statute. It argued that even though technically true, the statement was unresponsive to the question asked, which addressed personal accounts, and the statement was misleading because, by negative implication, it suggested Bronston never had any such personal accounts. Bronston countered that a true statement, even if unresponsive, couldn't support perjury liability. The district court convicted Bronston, and a divided Second Circuit affirmed. Bronston appealed to the United States Supreme Court. 